The connection today is actor Burt Lancaster. The film is A Child is Waiting. A teacher, played by Judy Garland, is transferred to a boarding school for the mentally disabled. While there, she develops connections with her various students, particularly with a boy with autism who stands on the street every Sunday on visiting day. He stands there waiting for his parents, who never show up. Garland begins to give him all her undivided attention, much to the dismay of the school's headmaster, played by Burt Lancaster, who thinks that her approach of care will do more harm than good. The film was produced by Stanley Kramer, a man known for making message pictures. This is one of them, and it is grossly underappreciated. Mental disabilities were a very taboo topic back then, and this film is not afraid to delve into the unfair treatment these children received, and also how difficult it could be on the immediate family members. It doesn't paint the child's parents as monsters. It explores the hardships they had to endure while trying to figure out how to properly raise their child. They tried the best they could, but there were no resources available to help them learn what they needed to do, and therefore, they suffered. The film doesn't justify their decision as right, though. The film shows plenty of couples coping with their children's affliction and doing their best to make things work. It just makes us wonder what we would do if we were in their shoes at this point in history. What would we do? This film was directed by avant-garde writer-director-actor John Cassavetes. It's very grounded and a big departure from Cassavetes' style of guerrilla camera work. It feels more like a Stanley Kramer film than a John Cassavetes film, and to tell you the truth, I'm happy it doesn't feel like a Cassavetes film, because I don't think it would have worked otherwise. I think the film needed to be more conventional in order to reach out to a wider audience, to inform them about pressing issues like this. I think sometimes Cassavetes puts style before substance, and if he had done that, people probably wouldn't have paid attention to this film. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, Judy Garland gives a great dramatic performance as the school teacher. Garland was near the end of her career at the time, and she wanted to show off her acting chops by expanding into non-musical films. Well, I can honestly say that she did an amazing job. It just makes me wonder what would have happened to her career had her life been just a little different. This film definitely does a good job at tugging at your heartstrings, but it does it in a non-overly sappy way to where it feels real and justified. In all, it's a bit sorrowful at times, but it does a great job demonstrating the injustice that people with these disabilities got at the time, and was a great message to get out there. For the longest time, this film was unavailable, but Kino released it on DVD and Blu-ray a couple years back, and it does not disappoint. I highly recommend you pick up a copy and see the film for yourself to see what you've been missing out on.